Alrighty, so what is going on today, YouTube? We are going in with some Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro commentary. So, yeah, let's see what's going on. We got Trad1323 going up against Chris Gamer Pro. And let's see what's going on. Hopefully, we do get a good match between these two. And while this is taking its time, because we're on the American server, I would like to say if you guys do enjoy this video, leave a like, leave a comment. And also subscribe if you have not already. And if you guys can click an ad, can you click an ad for me? It very help me out very much, and I appreciate it very much. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what's going to go down. So, I mean, there's 12 extra decks on the bottom, 12 extra deck cards at the bottom, 15 at the top. So we're looking like a standard duel. Oh my God, we got some Zephyr plays. Let's see what the hell. Who is this? Chris Gamer Pro. He's going to go off because of that new card, Zephyr Nua. <clears throat> is that what it's called? Wait, what the fuck? That was not Zephyr Nua. What? Shadal Zephyr? There it goes. Zephyr, Zephyr, that's what it's called. That was called Zephyr Nua for some reason. There is a card called that. I just don't remember what it is. All right, so we activate <clears throat> Zephyr first. Does not use the effect. And then activate the, uh, the Shadal. And what's crazy is... I don't know if they fixed it, but in Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro, you can't pin it with something because you needed to be a Shadal Zephyr monster, I think. I don't know if it... Okay, I guess they fixed it. Well, we're going to see right now. Looking like he's starting off pretty decent. Oh, yeah, he, he started off amazing. This is... Zephyr's always play with it. Even though they never... I don't know why, but they just never win anything. But they all... They have fucking explosive plays. But I know, like, if you set up... Like, one strike can pretty much end their whole turn, so... That may be a big proponent of why <laughs> the deck actually doesn't do anything, but the deck is it's, the deck is amazing, man. <clears throat> the fact that you can just you can put so much negation and so much synchros and just you can just do so much with this. There it goes Zephyr Providence right there, so he's going to get a free search, and something became a tuner, right? So this is a six-star tuner right here. Wait, did he not use it? Yeah, it's treated as a tuner. So he's going to search this, and that's the one you don't even have to set. You can just activate from your hand, like one of the, um, what is the uh, card? I forgot what they are. Metaf no, they're not Metaphys. Uh, the, the water, the normal deck. You can act just, just like that. All you need is two Zephyr cards in your Pendulum Zone, which he currently has. You can act and that's the end of his turn. I have no clue why he just, he, you could easily want Chow Fang. Just easily did that. There was no reason why you did not go Chow Fang. Um, but let's see with um, Trad uh, Trad one three two three. They're starting off with a preparation of rights. And let's see, is he playing Herald or is he playing like a Spirit deck? And he activated Max C upon activation of preparation of rights. Pre prep. Never mind. Pre preparation of rights. I have no clue why you did that. All right, he's going Herald. So it looks like this is going to be a very long match that we will not be seeing if it if it if it stays i mean if it goes too damn long i'm not doing it here goes the man juice I'm, i believe he might be getting safira is that what the name is sapphire no it is safira right i believe it's safira let's see i know it's a dragon uh no he's going ben 10 okay i don't know why i didn't think of that but i thought that um he would already have it for some reason there goes the dawn of the hero he's going to tribute the ben 10 Ben 10 is going to get him a search. The Don of the Herald, so Don of the Herald is going to add back to Ben 10, and he probably is going to uh, then go into uh, <clears throat> the Dragon. I forgot what it's called. I believe his name is Sephira. But let's see what's going to happen. Ben 10, Don of the Herald. And let's see if he changes his trap card now. He might as well, as long as he. I mean, you know damn well he does. I mean, two of those cards are not dead, so that's that's a good play. That is a good play right now to activate it because, as you know right now, what's going on here? Oh, it has to pop two. Did not know that. But let's see what he has in his hand. He has he had another herald so that pretty much I think it may it may ruffle his feathers. It may fuck up his plays because he was probably trying to go double herald or something like that. But <clears throat> this duel is going to be a very long duel. It, 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 man, he already has four. He has one negation. He's going to search another one. Sauce. So oh, shit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, folks. Uh, may not be a long duel after all. It looks like next turn, this man is going to put the... He's going to put the... He's going to put the pedal to the metal. And he's going to ram his shit. 
so he better get some protection some uh, uh put, a, put a life jacket on something because this is looking like it's going to be out of hand next turn when he, when he searches that chair that means you know he got the stick you're about to beat your shit in sorry for cussing so much man. keep forgetting all right he's starting off with a zephrax uh, i really thought this shit was named zephyr Nui. You guys let me know what the hell Zephyr Nui is. I'm pretty sure we might see it before the end of the duel. But I could have scored this card name was Zephyr Nui, but it is Zephyr. So he's going to start off with that. Let's see if his plays can be more than just special. No, Pendulum Summon to end your turn. And fit the, that's just the magic. Next format, he's only going to have three slots. He's only going to be able to Pendulum Summon one card. Like, oh, they did Pendulum so damn dirty. But all right, he's going, he went into this, the, which is the Zephyrex on. Zef, wait, Zephraxiton. There you go. Zephraxiton. There you go. Went to that, and so when this is Pendulum Summon or Normal Summon or Flipped, targeted Teller Knight in a Z or Zephyr card in one set. Why the fuck would you even do that? What purpose did that serve? Why would. I know he has the other one that pops faced up. There's literally no reason to do that. At least force the cards out of his hand. But he may have the counter trap down there, and that may end up bringing him back in the door if he can force the herald. But it, it does not looking too good for uh, for Chris. It is really not. There's the stick, like I told you guys. The stick and chair is going to be very viable. Let's see if he does have that counter trap face down. Because if he doesn't have the counter trap, oh, it doesn't look like he has a counter trap. Man, we're we're it's it's finna it's finna it's finna go down, folks. It is finna go down. There goes the chair, hits the board, gives him a draw. Shafter, go ahead and search, searches the other chair. And we're bringing two chairs down with a stick. Holy fuck, this game is getting really out of hand. <laughs> he hits double scepter. Oh my god, this is going to be crazy. If that's not a counter trap down there, he, this man is going to feel the wrath. He's going to feel the wrath of Star, uh, Star Seraphs. Oh, this is going to be crazy. Now, what he should do is exceed with two scepters. And go into Delta Rose. So Delta Rose can pop. Pop. Actually pop and pop this. Because I believe nothing can be activated on the summon. Yep. Nothing can be activated on the summon. Wait, what? Yeah, your opponent can activate card effects. When you know more spell summon the month. Whoa! I didn't see that part. No, sir. Don't do it. Did he change the effect? No. Okay, thank you. He did. You should pop this because it wouldn't get the effect. It would not get the effect. He's gonna draw two, and he's gonna pop two. That's okay. So I mean, you can't you can't really go wrong with what you're doing. Oh, he can protect it actually. Protect it with Zephyr Providence. That's what he can do. So that was a bad mistake. He's still gonna pop the back row, but that's really what you was trying to pop. But getting that Zephyr Providence out of the grave early is a good thing for one it was oh it's only when a monster effect is activated <laughs> I thought it was on a summon also so he did have the nine branches which okay wait so why didn't you just you should have just nine branched the scepter everything would have been all right you would have been good you'd have been real good now you're gonna just lose pop use Dutch rolls pop this um he shall uh we should ritual summon again I'm pretty sure he has enough an oracle, uh, he must have another ritual in his hand because I don't understand why we would do that. Okay, like I said, machine angel ritual. Here it goes. Let's see what he's going to bring out. He's doing Ida to oh my god, this is going to be out of this is going to get real out of hand. <clears throat> so now he boosts everything up by a thousand, every ritual on the board goes up by a thousand. So not only does Herald of Perfection can negate shit, it has. 2800 attack with 3800 massive defense and he's going in he is going in this man is going to get hit with 600 and a, a 1300 which is going to contribute all the way no not contribute it's going to add up all the way i don't know why is that contribute but add up all the way to 1900 damage that's going to go ahead and get negated by herald i would believe is he going to do it is he going to do it uh, wait, what does I didn't say when it's going on something? Oh, it's real. I see. He could have did that. He actually, what he could have did 
he could have did the same thing but did it the other way around and could have uh spread some in this to tribute to get a different one and then like ritual summon again like tributing uh <clears throat> one of these i don't know he could have done a lot i don't know he, i don't know his hand so he, he could have did a lot more it depends on if he has more uh what's the in his hand if he has more rituals in his hand then it's going to be uh <clears throat> it's going to be a, a sad thing but 1900 is the most he can muster up right now he's going to end his turn i believe i cannot imagine this man going into a exceed with the two level sixes and he does not so he now he's up to four let's see what chris can do he is a gamer pro top stack to private uh, the private uh, the providence which is amazing and if i'm harold i probably negate this probably negate this i do not want him to get another oracle of zephyr that's going to be a problem oh he lets it happen anyways it might come back to hunt him he may not have any fairies in his hand this is getting negated because you can only use this effect once per turn negate the fuck out of it negate it oh no it does not negate it oh my god all right so um <clears throat> this uh oracle of this this herald of perfection is getting outed right now He's going to pendulum probably four he's going to structure the chain links to where um the one that pops face oh my god why would you do that why would you do that man you literally had free reign to blow his whole fucking board and you normal summon red resonant you could have pendulum summoned literally everything except for red resonated but you could have pendulum summoned or you could have popped the hero because i'm pretty sure you searched the uh, one that pops face steps correct this adds a pendulum back. I don't think you have one in the graveyard though. No. This is yeah. See what he could do? Chain link one, chain link two. Bam! Harold can't negate this, and he fucks up. Oh my god! Well, Crystal Gamer Pro, you're, you're not a fucking pro. Uh, that was come on, man. You gotta learn the rules of chain links, man. Gotta learn the rules of chain links. Oh my god! He doesn't even have enough. Oh, actually, he just going to banish the machine angel angel ritual, so it doesn't look like it mattered. But man, that could have that could have ended up so badly. That could have really ended up so badly. But he can't attack over anything, so I, I really don't know what the hell he can do. He can't really attack over anything. Orca Zephra, I mean, what does that give you? Already normal summon. It doesn't add. Does it add spells and traps? No, it doesn't. I, I wouldn't even care because you wasted your normal. You pendulum summon. You didn't really do anything. It's, and now it's going to be my turn. You can't attack over anything. What does that do? Hey, what does this do? Did you can't you fiddle something twice or something? Oh, you can. <laughs> I forgot about that. Does this activate? No, it does not activate. Well, there's his out. <laughs> I forgot about that secondary effect. There's his out. Now he can attack over it. This is once per turn, I believe. This is once per turn, I believe. Yeah, these are all once per turn. So let's see what happens. Damn, that's just so stupid. You know how stupid fucking conducting two pendulum summons a turn? That is ridiculous. Um, Trad, why would you surrender, man? Why would you surrender, man? Well, uh, uh, if this is not the end, um, then I will, you know, continue. But um, as far as I know, this is the end. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy it. I do not know why Trad surrendered. He still had advantage. He would have to get rid of the Delta Rose to even do anything. I don't know why he surrendered, man. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy it. And I will see you guys uh, with the next video.